semitones, whole tones, and accidentals. In this lecture, we will learn about semitones and tones, also known as half tones and whole tones, or half steps and whole steps, respectively. Also, we will learn about accidentals, namely sharps, flats, naturals, double sharps, and double flats. Semitones and whole tones, half steps and whole steps. What is a semitone? A semitone, also called a half step or half tone, is the shortest distance between two notes. I will use the piano to explain this. On the piano keyboard, a semitone goes from one key to the very next key. For instance, C to the black key after it is a semitone. E to F, the note after E, is a semitone. B to C is a semitone. If you move from key to key without skipping any key, you are playing semitones each time. A whole tone is equal to two semitones. To form a whole tone on a piano, you skip a key. For instance, C to D is a whole tone. D to E is a whole tone. And E to F sharp is a whole tone. You simply skip one key, whether the next key is black or white. A whole tone always has a key in the middle. Semitones and whole tones apply to every instrument. On a guitar, if you move from fret to fret, they are all semitones. If you skip a fret, it's a whole tone. We will learn more about this later. Accidentals, flats, sharps, and naturals. Now that you understand what a semitone or half step, half tone, is, we will take a look at flats, sharps, and naturals. A flat lowers a note by a semitone. The flat sign is often written like this, small b. Therefore, if you come across this, you say b flat. A sharp raises a note by a semitone. The sharp sign is often written like this. It looks like a hashtag. So if you come across this, you say F sharp. A natural cancels a sharp or flat. For example, if a musical piece has a note that's flatted, but the composer wants that note to be a natural note, a natural sign would be added. So let's say there's a B flat according to the key signature and the composer wants you to play the note B instead. At a certain point in the music, a natural sign would be placed before the note. The natural sign tells you to play B natural and not B flat. Sharps, flats, 
and naturals are called accidentals. Accidentals last for no longer than one measure. If there is an accidental before a note in a measure, every other note on that line or space in the measure will be affected. For example, if a flat sign is placed before B, every other B in that measure would be B flat, unless a natural sign is added to other B notes in that measure. When the measure ends, you go back to the regular note. In other words, you go back to B. Accidentals are cancelled by the bar line. Accidentals go on the left side of the note head. A flat sign consists of a small loop and a stem. On the staff, it is placed in front of a note. The loop of the flat sign is placed directly on the line or the space of its note head. If a note is on a space, the flat sign's loop should be in the middle of the space. If a note is on a line, the line should run through the center of the loop. As for the stem of the flat sign, it's about two and a half staff spaces long. How about the sharp sign? To draw this sign, slant horizontal lines upwards and to the right. The space in the middle of this sign is placed on the same line or space as its note head. A sharp sign has a height of about three staff spaces. A natural sign looks almost like a sharp sign, but some of its lines are not as long. To draw this sign, Think of drawing an L, then adding the number 7 to it, ending up with a space in the center. Similar to the other accidentals, the space in the middle of the natural sign is placed on the line or space of the note head that it affects. A natural sign is about three star spaces in height. Remember that sharps go up a semitone or half step, while flats go down a semitone. Naturals cancel a sharp or flat. On piano, a sharp means that you play the next key to the right, while a flat means that you play the key to the left. For example, C sharp means to play the key to the immediate right of C, while D flat means to play the key to the left of D. A sharp means to play the key to the right of A, while B flat means to play the key to the left of B. Practice drawing 20 sharps, 20 flats, and 20 naturals.
This will really help. For each of the accidentals, jot 10 on the line and 10 on the spaces of the staff. You can purchase staff paper online or in a music store, or you may be able to find some on the internet and print them out. Remember to draw them on the line or space of the notehead that they affect. Also, remember that they must be drawn before the note. Chromatic and diatonic semitones. In sheet music, chromatic semitones are drawn on the same space or line. For instance, C and C sharp would be on the same space, assuming that is the C on the third space of the treble clef. G and G sharp would be on the same line. I'm referring to the second line of the treble clef. They are chromatic semitones. They have the same letter names. However, diatonic semitones are drawn on a different line or space. For instance, G to A flat is a diatonic semitone. The second line of the treble staff is G. A flat is a semitone higher and is drawn on a space. E and D sharp are diatonic semitones. They are not on the same line or space and have different letter names. To further explain this, let's look at A and A sharp and A and B flat. A and A sharp are chromatic semitones and are on the same space. I'm referring to the second space of the treble clef. A and B flat are diatonic semitones. A is on a space and B flat is on a line. In harmonic notes, A sharp and B flat are enharmonic equivalents. They have different names, but the same key is used to play them. Other enharmonic equivalents include C sharp and D flat, D sharp and E flat, F sharp and G flat, and G sharp and A flat. When two notes have two different letter names, but are played by the same key, they are enharmonic equivalents. No matter the instrument, you would play the same note. The piano can help you visualize whole tones and semitones. Practice drawing chromatic and diatonic semitones as well as whole tones and enharmonic tones on the staff. Double flats and double sharps. Flat and double flat sign. A flat, A double flat. A double flat lowers a note by two semitones. It consists of two flat signs next to each other. 
the flat signs touch each other, as is the case with other accidentals, the loops of the double flat sign are placed on the same line or space of the noted that the sign affects. Sharp and double sharp sign. C sharp, C double sharp. The double sharp makes a note two semitones higher. It looks like a fancy X. It is centered on the same line or space as the note head it affects. Its height is one staff space. The chromatic scale. Chromatic scale ascending, chromatic scale descending. To play a chromatic scale, you simply move in semitones. For example, on piano, all you do is move from one key to the key that is next to it and keep going up or down the scale. In other words, no key is skipped. Let's say you start on the note C. You simply move up your keyboard to C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, A sharp, B, and then C, an octave higher. A chromatic scale consists of 12 notes, each a half step apart. Going down the scale, you start on C and move to B, B flat, A, A flat, G, G flat, F, E, E flat, D, D flat, and back to C. Notice that we use different names for some of the notes. For instance, when going up the scale, we called a particular key C sharp. That same key, we called it D flat when going down. All we did was use the enharmonic equivalent. <laughs>